So, the first item on today's agenda is an electronic vote. And so, I would ask you please to put in your voting cards. As you know, during yesterday's coordinators meeting, we decided that EFDD will be granted the uh, opinion on the Commission proposal establishing the framework program for the environment and climate action, the life program in other words. S&D raised an objection in respect of that decision. You see this uh, under point 214 of the coordinator's recommendations. Those were circulated yesterday. So it was decided that we would vote this morning on that objection, uh, as has been communicated to you by the Secretariat. So you are invited now, colleagues, to vote electronically on the attribution of the, um, the opinion on the LIFE programme to EFDD. The vote is open. Avete votato tutti? Has everybody voted? Yeah. Voting is closed. È stato approvato. So it's been carried, which means that the coordinator's decision from yesterday goes ahead. Martin Housling is now asked for the floor. You have the floor. Ja, ich wollte noch mal erklären für die Kollegen, die gestern nicht da waren. Just for the uh, benefit of the colleagues that weren't present yesterday, I'd like to explain why this vote has taken place. I'd, I'll be brief because I said a lot more yesterday. I think it is um, quite surprising that we, as an agri committee, hand a report to a climate change denier. And I think this all has to do with the image of our committee and how we then go into negotiations with the Envy Committee on this point. I think we're just making a laughing stock of ourselves uh, with this decision. I know that there are one or two people in the EPP group, like Albert Dess, who uh, think along the same lines, but I think this is quite scandalous, uh, uh, sending us into negotiations in this. As I said, when it comes to the image uh, of our committee, then uh, this isn't good. And uh, yes, the EPP, the Liberals. And I must say, I think it is a great shame. We will accept the majority decision, but uh, it's uh, uh, not a good signal for future cooperation. Thank you. Grazie, Martin. Ha chiesto la parola. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Agnew has asked for the floor. Thank you, committee. I just want to say that I am not a climate denier. I know the climate has changed, it's on record over the last 2,000 years, and we adapt and adjust to these changes. I just do not believe that farmers can have any influence over it. The way I want to set about this is I assume we are going to get a shopping list or a wish list from the Envy Committee, a list of things that they want farmers to do in order to improve or change the world's weather. I want to apply two tests to each of these wishes. The first will be, what impact will it have on a farm? And I will use my 50 years experience in the industry to assess that and try and give a fair judgment on it. The second test will be a scientific one. What effect will that actually have on the climate? And I will use the services of a, a Cambridge graduate in science to try and assess that. So we will have uh, a cost and an effect on each of these points. And you are then welcome to challenge what I say. I will be coming from this from the point of view of common sense, logic and science, and you can challenge it if you want to. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I don't want to open a debate on this, but uh, Mr. Andrea has asked for the floor. And then I think we can very quickly move on to item 12. Oui, merci, President. Thank you, Chairman. Well, I didn't want to take the floor, but uh, Mr. Agnew spoke, so I just wanted to say that uh, this vote today will go down in history, I think. Uh, you know, we're going to be uh, preparing the CAP uh, through to from 22 to 27, and as you know, 
we, there is a, a conflict of competence between various different committees. A lot of ENVY members are in the Agri Committee as well, and uh, ENVY is asking for specific and exclusive competence uh, and not sort of shared competence. Anyway, we're, we're discussing this. And right now, strategically, this morning's vote, I think, is a mistake. Uh, in respect of the agri position on CAP. We're going to see over the next few weeks what is going to come out of this, but the debate is ongoing. And uh, I think those of us, um, particularly the uh, chairperson, Kievsky, I think we have to stand up for agriculture vis-à-vis uh, -vis Envy in preparation of the future CAP. I just wanted to say that we've noted the vote and its outcome, and we'll see over the next few weeks in this ongoing combat uh, what is going to happen. Bene. Grazie, colleghi. Okay. Right. Well, I think we can now actually move on to committee work as such. So